In this project, we use non-convex optimization with implicit contact dynamics to find dynamically feasible pancake flipping trajectories. We model the pan and pancake using floating base coordinates and constrain the trajectory to obey the system dynamics. These dynamics include both the standard terms for control affine rigid body dynamics, along with an additional term that models the contact interaction between the pan and the pancake. This additional term maps the contact forces lambda, which are determined implicitly by the optimization solver, into generalized forces in the configuration space via the Jacobian J of each contact point. Throughout the trajectory, we track the sine distance phi between the pancake and the upper surface of the pan. We constrain phi to be non-negative to ensure that the pancake does not penetrate the pan, and we also add a complementarity constraint to ensure that the contact forces are zero whenever the pancake is not in contact with the pan. In this way, we are able to model contact dynamics implicitly, allowing the non-convex optimizer to solve for the contact forces required by a realistic trajectory. By employing an implicit model, we do not need to specify a mode sequence a priori, providing the flexibility to make and break contact as needed to accomplish the task. To ensure sufficient accuracy in capturing the system dynamics, we break the total execution time into segments of equal length, then divide each segment into two subsegments, the duration of which can vary as long as the total length of each pair remains constant. This allows us to use short time steps as needed to model the inelastic collisions between the pancake and pan while preventing any time steps from vanishing entirely. The full trajectory optimization problem is shown here. The first three constraints enforce the dynamics of the system, while the next three provide the implicit model of contact dynamics. These two constraints on H allow for variable discrete time stepping, and we also constrain the minimum and maximum allowable control effort U. Finally, we also constrain the desired start and end configurations of the pan and pancake. In the example of flipping the pancake, the pancake is initially rotated 180 degrees relative to its desired end configuration. Because we do not need to specify a mode sequence ahead of time, we can discover new behaviors simply by changing the start condition. For example, when the pancake starts right side up relative to the desired end state, we find a trajectory that slides rather than tosses the pancake to the goal position. Although the full system is underactuated, we can apply partial feedback linearization to the fully actuated pan subsystem to effectively stabilize the multi-contact pancake flipping trajectory without demanding control inputs much in excess of the nominal control found by a trajectory optimization. Solving the inverse kinematics allows us to execute these trajectories on a simulated 7 degree of freedom robot arm.